Hey, today I'm gonna show you how to knit this sweater. Let's get started. I used three different color of yarn. Cast on, multiple of 12. I made 120 cast. It all depend on the uh, yarn and needle. So you must try it on once you make the uh, neck rib. And if it's too tight or too loose, you might have to start again. Now you connect both ends. You use the magic loop technique. If you don't know how to do the magic loop technique, I will put the link in my description box. You can actually watch how to do magic loop. Rib is repeat of knit two and purl two. I did 10 rows but it's really up to you you know you can make it shorter or longer until your desired length okay so the rib is knit two repeat of knit two and purl two after 10 rows this is not done for the rib I'm gonna raise a little bit higher at the back of the neck. So if you want, you can actually watch a little bit longer what I'm going to do. And if you don't like it, you can actually skip to 11 minutes. So please watch first. Place two markers to divide by front piece and back piece. And beginning marker should be at the middle of the, uh, the back piece. Already put two markers, green and orange. Okay, the top part is the uh, back piece. And bottom 60 half is the uh, front piece. Okay, so you have to count from the beginning, orange 30 stitch green 30 stitch becomes 60 that's the back piece and the bottom half should be the front piece okay 30 30 60 then 60 bottom okay from now i'm gonna forget about the front piece i'm gonna work on the back piece the you know back of your neck I'm gonna raise a little bit higher for the uh, back of your neck because that way it fits you really well. This is my old sweater I knitted before and this is the uh, front and look at the uh, back little bit raised that part that fits you really well. And you need to find the uh, magic number. And there is the uh, calculation example. My stitch was 120. 120 divided by 2 is 60. And 60 divided by 6 is 10. My magic number is 10. Okay, let me explain a little bit better. Okay, whole cast 120 divided by 2 which is 6, which is just the back piece number, right? And divided by 6 or 4 or 5, which is depend on you. How much you want to raise the back piece? And I want to add 6 rows. That's why I divided by 6, okay? So neck row number 1 right side start making rib 
which means knit over knit stitch, purl over purl stitch, until 10 stitch. Okay, only 10 stitch because my magic number is 10. Okay, no more than that. When you make 10 stitch, turn the work, which means now you're looking at the wrong side. Neck row number 2. Okay, so 10 stitch to the, uh, the begin marker and another 10 past the, uh, the begin marker total of 20 stitch you have to make still rib row so knit over knit stitch and purl over purl stitch so you have to knit 20 stitch total on the uh, second row so this is depend on the, uh, your magic number okay if it your magic number is 14 you increase 14 stitch every row and then ended up you know you're raising slowly okay you will understand if you actually watch this Okay, then now I made 20 stitch. Then turn the work. Neck row 3. This is right side. So 10, 20. So this time you have to knit 30 stitch. Okay, so you just knit 20 stitch in previous row. Add 10 more stitch which is 30 and if you don't like making mistake or counting you know uh, when you're knitting you can put temporary marker so you never gonna pass that marker okay so count first 30 stitch put the marker there and then start making rib okay and you just go back and forth until you hit the you know the mid marker which is green and orange for me okay there you go this is neck row three hit 30 stitch marker there and again turn the work and neck row number four wrong side so you have to add another 10 which is this time 40 stitch and you put the temporary marker so you don't have to count when you're knitting so just still make a rib there it comes. This is end of the neck row number four, which is 40 stitch. Then turn. No work again. And neck row five should be 50 stitch. Okay. So depend on your, you know, the magic number. If you want to make the uh, the only full row raising you know your calculation was you know the whole stitch number divided by two divided by four so you know it makes sense and next row should be done for me okay that's the 50, which I hit the, the, the mid marker. There you go. But I'm going to keep that mid marker. Then, neck row 6, wrong side. 
you just make rib until the other side of the uh, marker okay and this is the end okay because I finish on wrong side I want to knit on the right side from now on so I have to turn the work and it has to face on the uh, right side and knit until begin marker okay if you finish on the uh, right side you just keep knitting go around and hit the uh, the begin marker you want to start from the begin marker from next row there you go as you can see the back portion is longer than front piece okay this is the end and this is the start from the body part right so before that I change the needle after this we have to place some markers for sleeves and calculation will be shown so please find your number and place the marker okay okay here's my sweater from the uh, the top beginning marker both way 20 20 which is 40 stitch for the uh, back piece that's 20 20 and 40 total and between green and orange that's 20 stitches that's gonna be for sleep for both sides then between orange marker that's gonna be front you know why because the back piece is a little bit higher and total of 120 okay and we will increase some stitches around those uh, markers okay first of all all knit next row okay just on it one row and inc increasing row will start next I'm still knitting okay And first of all, when you just look at the the rib, and I said, you know, this is the uh, shoulder, and looks so tiny, but again, you will increase the uh, stitches around those markers, and it's gonna get bigger and bigger. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay? There you go. So. increase row number one knit until last one stitch before the marker okay again I will increase before and after okay last one stitch left then yarn over knit one last stitch slide the marker knit one then yarn over and knit okay look back before one last stitch yarn over and knit one slide the marker 
knit one and yarn over and you do same thing every single marker except the uh, begin marker okay one last stitch before the marker so yarn over knit one slide the marker knit one then yarn over you do exactly same thing on every marker so two stitch increase there and two stitch increase and third marker two stitch increase and two so two times four equal eight stitches increase on increasing row okay and increasing row two all knit and you have to repeat row one and row two until you hit the armpit okay and has to finish on increasing row two here's the thing okay whenever you knit until where the the yarn over is in in previous row looks like that okay it's not really stitch yarn over and you just knit and that creates a little bit hole but that's okay that's the design I wanted this time okay you can close that hole but this time I want that hole so don't worry just knit the yarn over you create in previous row okay so you have to just repeat one and two until you hit the uh, the armpit okay here comes video okay i'm checking that's still not enough okay that has to be meat that you know part has to be meat under knees of your armpit so okay I actually use the uh, the other yarn so I can maybe try it on right so it's kind of you know pain in the neck a little bit to do this but you need it and you know if you're making for somebody maybe you know grab the, uh, the their t-shirt and just you know measure it there you go I think I knit it enough for me this is actually size small okay so hold it like that and that's actually big enough for my arm and the body part as well you know make sure it's big enough okay that's that's good size and the other side obviously same you know size there you go that's the front and that's the back piece I love this shape and it fits you really well so it's actually worse to do that raising you know back of your neck technique is good okay so now you have to separate the uh, sleeves then we will knit only body first okay so let's do that it's simple you need a stitch holder or thread okay just knit until the marker this is easy and whenever you hit the the, the marker that's gonna be sleeve right I just knit the uh, half of my back body and here comes the uh, green marker which starts sleeves so I pick every single stitch and transfer onto the uh, stitch holder this is for sleeve 
so I will forget about those stitch until I finish knitting body okay And here comes orange marker, which means sleeve stitch transferred. And now you have to connect back piece and front piece. How to do it? You have to add new stitch, then reconnect again. So add eight new cast just like that use your thumb and add eight cast then after that you start connecting knitting forget about the uh, sleeve you just you know put aside so now you start knitting front piece. It's a little bit rigid, but once you start, you know, knitting more rows, it's gonna be, you know, easier. So don't worry about it. And you do exactly same thing the other side, of course, because there's two sleeves. Okay. First of all, when you hit the at the next marker. The other side of the sleeve starts so transfer every single sleeve stitch onto stitch holder which is there just pick it up if you don't have the uh, stitch holder you can use needle and thread okay there you go almost done there you go and again you have to reconnect this side as well and you add a new cast the other side so you have to do same thing add eight new cast one two three four five six seven eight oh i miscounted i guess okay and reconnect then knit until begin marker Now, you just knit your body. You know, I'm gonna knit just a simple basic sweater. So no increasing or no decreasing for your body. Just knit straight until your desired length. If you wanna, you know, make the a little design, you can do it like mine for gray, two blue full gray and three white and i repeat it six times it's really up to you if you want to use just the one color fine and i want you to look at the uh, the begin marker area okay the if you knit around and changing the uh, color sometimes there's a little jog it's not really straight and if you don't like that jog i'm gonna show you a little tip how to avoid the jog i didn't really like that jog to be honest but i was a little bit lazy but uh you know after i finish i regret a little bit so this time I'm gonna show you 
I can't really avoid completely, but it's better. Okay, so first of all, you're changing color of yarn. Now I'm gonna use the blue. So start knitting with blue. And little technique is when you come back to the uh, the begin marker, that's the time you have a little tip trick. Okay, so coming back to the uh, the begin marker. Okay, this is the only time. Okay, so. close you knit until the last stitch and slide the uh, begin marker after this you have a little trick okay pick up the uh, the yarn in previous row which is gray that yarn okay right and left and you're picking up the uh, right thread in previous row and put it on the left needle like that and knit those two colors two together okay and knit around that's it next time you don't have to do it Every time you change the uh, color, the first row, you just knit. Then, past the, uh, the begin marker, you have to do this trick. Then you can avoid a little bit of jog, okay? And I'm done for body. Change the uh, needle to 3.25 millimeter then make the rib and make sure you count whole stitch should be multiple of four because uh, I increase uh, eight stitch every row which is multiple of four so the rib should be same as a neck repeat of knit two and purl two and once you hit the uh, the desired length you can cast off okay then let's move to the uh, sleeve part okay this is so obvious you have to transfer every single stitch from stitch holder to needle and you have to knit you know one sleeve at a time okay so don't transfer both sleeve okay so first of all you have to knit around and connect both ends again but in between the uh, the uh, connection you add eight stitches because you add eight stitches for the body so let's join the uh, the yarn and start knitting it hasn't connected yet okay you knit around until the end of that row then add a new cast then connect same as the body right and important thing for your sleeve okay the first sleeve you knit you have to count every row how many rows you you know knit otherwise you know the length will be the uh, different right but this is second sleeve for me, so it's all I know, uh, you know, how many rows I have to knit. Anyway, so add eight new cast. 
same as body then connect there you go and then it doesn't really matter for this sweater because I don't do decreasing or increasing usually the sleeve you know uh, goes to kind of narrow towards to the uh, the wrist so you know usually you use the uh, decreasing technique but I don't really but um, I put the uh, the begin marker in the middle of the uh, new cast okay that's the new beginning so if you want to make the uh, longer sleeve and then you know kind of narrow it down towards to the uh, the the wrist you definitely have to put the uh, begin marker in the middle of new cast because around that area you want to decrease stitches maybe every 10 rows or 12 rows but for this sweater it's gonna be short sleeve and I'm not gonna you know uh, decrease the, uh, the my sleeve this time so I didn't really have to put the a new uh, beginning but uh, I did anyway anyway so just keep knitting until your desired length of your sleeve okay the new cast it always always hard to you know the knit but you know take your time you don't have to be so fast okay and this was a little bit awkward because you know I changed the uh, the color of yarn because of my design but once you know you knit a couple more rows totally fine okay there you go it's gonna be like that okay that's the you know armpit area and I was showing where the uh, the begin marker is and once you hit the uh, desired length you will start making rib but make sure you count whole stitches and has to be multiple of four and uh, my stitch number was 82 so it's not multiple of four so I decide to decrease two stitches before the uh, the you know rib rows so here's the thing okay around the uh, the begin marker I want to decrease okay and if you want to make the uh, longer sleeve and want to use the uh, decreasing technique you gotta remember this slip slip knit then knit one then that's the begin marker okay slip slip one one decrease and slide the marker and knit one then knit two together I'm just adjusting the, uh, the number to the uh, multiple of four so I'm not gonna uh, decrease any more stitches okay now I have 80 stitch which is multiple of four then I did rib which is repeat of knit 2 and purl 2 until your desired length but in this case you know same length as D 
the other side of the uh, sleeve. Okay. And cast off. Because of the rib, knit over knit stitch and purl over purl stitch cast off. So I just did the knit two and cat one cast off and make purl, then second cast off. Of this sweater is adjustable. You can make any sizes you want. Okay? And this is so easy. Right? And seamless. Only under the armpit area you have to kind of sew. But this is so easy. Do you remember eight new stitch you add on? both side right the sleeve side and body side and you just sew those eight stitches together that's about it and no hassle okay so you add yarn and needle and just sew them up that's about it and once you know how to knit this basic sweater you can design uh, you can uh, use the uh, lace stitches you can do pretty much anything okay so Enjoy knitting!